Hey friends how you doing you all? So in this video we are gonna see, what if Naruto was overpower Phoenix. This is part 1 and if you want more then please leave a like share and subscribe and. Feel free to suggest what if ideas in comment section, also do check it out link tree for all fanfic. Let's get in the video. I guess I could start this story out talking about the abuse I suffered or the pain and heartache I have felt or something like that. Well I won't. Instead I will tell you about myself and my unique situation. There have only been a few people in all history who are like me. When I say like me I don't mean the vessel of a tailed beast or the son of a kage or even the plague of the village. No, when I say people like me I am talking about something the world has forgotten about. A being who has the ability to change. Now you may say everyone can change. Well, that would be true if the change is just something simple like a weight, where you live, who you hang with, who you love or hate. That is not the change I am talking about. Perhaps it would be best if I started with what no and then explain what you don't know. You all know how I was tricked into stealing the Forbidden Scroll and put on Team 7. You all know I went to Wave and saved the country. You all know about the Chunin exams and the fight at the Valley of the End. But that is what you truly don't know. That event changed my life forever. Ironic, Sasuke said he wanted to cut all bonds. If he knew the bond he truly cut that day he would kill himself. After he stabbed me in the chest Wyatha Chidori he caused my body to die originally. As I was length IRQB did something no one would ever think a demon could do. He cried. In that moment the evil that had consumed him for 10,000 years was broken. In that moment when the Shinigami came to take our souls he made a deal with death. Let me tell you about it. Flash QB cage. Naruto was leaning agents to wall. Feeling his spirit leaving his body. He was tired. Tired of the pain and tired of the loneliness. Tired of the hate and tired of being tired. A white light appeared and a spirit in a black robe descended from the ceiling and set its time mortals. The sob sound was heard and both the figure and Naruto looked over at the cage and QB said I want to ask you something Shinigami. Do you have the power to bestow the heavenly powers? The Shinigami said yes Kitsune. Why? QB said I offer you a trade. You know the seal won't take me and I will be freed within 20 years. The Shinigami said yes I know, not enough time has passed for it to take you fully. What do you care? QB said I will give myself for a trade. You know you won't have to take another soul for 100 years with mine and can take a vacation and let the others take your place during that time. In exchange I ask for a few things. The Shinigami said in a neutral tone that would be. QB looked at Naruto and said the kid here. You know what his life has been like because of me. I want to repay him for giving me something I have not had in 10,000 years. Hope. To repay him I want him to keep my power, but I also want him to have the heavenly power of Phoenix. The Shinigami looked at him and said why do you want this mortal to have that power? QB said no matter what the kid will have humans trying to kill him because of me even with me gone. So that is why I want him to have my power. The phoenix power is so he can correct the mistakes of humans. I think he is worthy because he has a pure spirit. The Shinigami looked at Naruto and said I can give it to him, but he will not be able to go back to birth. I will sat it up so he can't go back before the age of 5. To keep this power and be able to use it Ajin he must save one life for every time he goes back. If he goes back he will have to start from the same day every time. He must try and make the best life he can because he will be judged off of that life when he gives up the power. QB said very well. I agree to those terms. Naruto looked at what was going and tried to speak, but did not even have the energy to speak. The Shinigami said, you will train him also Kitsune to properly use your powers. So I won't be taking you soul yet. You will have to explain a few things to him including his family. Do you agree? QB said yes. The Shinigami said good. And drew his sword and walked to Naruto and stabbed him in the seal on his stomach and then pulled it out and said, you will rise from the ashes of death to correct the wrongs you deem worthy to correct. You are now until the time you decide to release this power the phoenix. And placed the sword on Naruto's forehead, causing him to scream out in pain as an emblem of a phoenix appeared. The next thing Naruto saw was red flames and he woke up in his apartment in his bed and was five years old. This day would be his focus point until he deemed his life worthy. I began my training under the QB and I learned some lesson, but I had yet to make it past the valley of the end, the three times I have gone back today started my fourth time. Naruto blinked and sighed looking up at the ceiling and said so it begins again. He got up out of bed and went through his morning ritual. He quickly got dressed in his hideous orange suit and left his apartment. First stop, the Hokage office. Naruto took about 30 minutes getting across town to make it to the tower, but not before pushing a civilian out of the way of a falling plant. He then snuck past the two guards at the mission room. He walked into the lobby of the Hokage's office and used a simple henge to look like a Suma and set his dad in. To the secretary. She blinked and said of course Asuma. Go on in. 
Asuma nodded and said, you might want to hold his appointments. This is going to take a while. The secretary nodded and Asuma walked into the Hokage's office, and the third looked up, and after Asuma closed the door he said, who are you? Asuma chuckled and said it's good to see you Agent Old Man. Dropping the hinge and showing a five-year-old Naruto. The third blinked and said Naruto, what? He stopped as Naruto held up his hand. Naruto said we need to talk and if the council knew I was in here right now Danzo would have his root member spy. That's why I hinged into your son. The third nodded slowly and said what so important that you would need secrecy and how do you know hinge? Naruto sighed and said may I motioning to the chair. The third nodded and Naruto sat down and said this is a long story, so I already told your secretary to hold your meetings. That was your suggestion from before when I came back. The third said I never. He stopped when Naruto held up his hand agent. Naruto said you never told that to me in this timeline. To make a long story short and so you know this is not one of my simple pranks, let me tell you a quick story that only you know the whole truth. If I can do that then I will also explain the rest. It's the least you could do for the son of Arashi Kazama and the vessel of QP no Kitsune. He said with a smirk. The third blinked and paled and said how. Naruto said it's best to start from the begging or as ironic as it is the end or the valley of the end. I was dying from Ichidori from Sasuke Cha. I did not believe my teammate would actually do it, so I powered down my Rasengan, but with the curse seal he had from Orochimaru and his desire for revenge agents Tatachi he killed me. The Shinigami came to take my soul away, but QB made a deal with the Death God. Since he would be free after 20 years because we had not merged enough, he offered his soul freely if the Shinigami would do two things. One give me all of QB's powers, and the second was give me the heavenly power of the Phoenix. But that power when I die as long as I save one person in my life, I can go back age into this day and start over. This is my fourth time. The first time Danzo killed me, the second time Orochimaru killed me. This last time Itachi killed me and so here I am agent. I have all my knowledge from the future, but it won't matter that much as I change events. Even if you kill me now without believing me I will start over agent in a few minutes, because on my way here I already saved the life of one person, so I am guaranteed another chance, and the next time I won't trust you. The third said so why do you need to see me then? Naruto said my body is that of a five-year-old. Even with QB already changing it to make it stronger, it won't matter with what's to come. The third said I thought you said the. The hand agent. Naruto said I told you that the QB made the deal. The Shinigami said I would need Giddens to use QB's power and also to explain thing to me, so he is keeping me and QB together for now. QB is training me to use his chakra and also to alter my own body, so when Hess not with me I can do it myself. And don't worry, I am not altering to be a demon or anything like that. It's just my healing ability, high ten senses, my bloodline and physical conditioning. The third looked at Naruto and said bloodline. Naruto said oh that's right you don't know. Well you will get a kicker out of this. I did when Bachin told me. Do you know grandmother and grandfather are? The third said actually, no I don't. Arashi never trusted me with knowing who his wife was and as far as I know he was an orphan. Naruto said he was in an orphanage, but not because of his parents died. They are both alive and you actually know them. You watched them grow up, and Granny never told you she was pregnant because she was afraid to disappointing you. Being her sensei and all. Naruto smirked as the wheels moved in the third's head, and he paled. Naruto said she really should quit drinking and gambling. But if she did that then her and grandfather never would have had dad. The third said who was he? Naruto said you have his book in your drawer under a Jinjutsu. The third chuckled knowing exactly who then and said that is hard to believe that those two actually had a thing. Naruto said from what I was told when I found out she was 15 at the time and you had sent them on missions together after her brother died. They got drunk. She made a bet and you can guess the rest. The third said so what do you plan to do if with this info you have? Naruto said certain events have to happen and can't be stopped. No matter how much I wish they could. The third said and they are. Naruto said sorry. I told you before and they blowed up in mine and your faces so we won't do that again. I have actually told you too much, but since you will be dead when those events happen I can feel a little safe. As for now only I will know what is supposed to happen. I would like to tell you everything, but if you intervene in the events or move too soon, then Danzo and the council will have the leverage they need to remove you and kill me. The third side and set is thy or anything you could do. Naruto thought for a moment and said actually yes but it will take time, and I don't know how you can do it, but our ally Suna. Strengthen the bonds between our village. It will make things easier later. If you have to arrange a marriage. The Kazikage has three children, Tamari, Kankuro and Gara. The first two would be good for a political marriage maybe but not Gara. The third said why not Gara. Naruto said he is a vessel also. The third paled and said I was not aware of that. 
Naruto said I had it bad, but he has it worst. The Kazikage actually brags about Gara because he is Suna's secret weapon, so his seal is screwed up. The third said why then do you want to have us ally with them? Naruto said after his death things get better between us. If things are good then already then some things might change. The third said I don't understand, but I will trust you for now. So what do you plan? Naruto said I need to train my body and learn more skills. Even with what I know I won't be ready for what is to come with my current knowledge. The third said what is it you need then? Naruto thought and said my chakra affinity is wind. I know Kagabunshin, Rasengan, Henge, replacement, summoning though I need to sign the toad contract again. My taijutsu knowledge is good, but my body can't handle what I know yet. Kinjutsu is something I want to work on. Maybe I can get a new chakra control exorcist beside tree climbing and water walking. That's my best skills. The first time I came back and died at 7. Then I died at 9, then I died at 12 age and because I made Orochimaru afraid of me. The third said well I might be able to get you a kinjutsu teacher and a chakra control exorcist, but it will take time. Naruto nodded and said is Anko in the village. The third paled and said what would you want with her. Naruto said I want her to teach me her fighting style. I know all about her and Orosimaru's past. The third said she is but I can't promise she will teach you. Naruto said leave that to me. If you hear explosions from the forest of death don't think anything about it. The third said why is that? Naruto said I need to get her to train me so what's the best way to impress a sadistic bloodthirsty nympho. The third said do I want to know. Naruto said you make her submit. The third said but you are only five. How can you make her submit? Naruto said only physically and QP can fix that. I am closer to 25 mentally. Also you don't train under Arisanan for a total of 5 years and not learn a few things. The third said I don't want to think about it. Naruto said good. Saya. And started toward the door. The third said don't you need some help. Naruto said just work on getting the Kinjustu and the Chakra Control Exorcist for me. Work on Suna also. I will work on the rest myself for now. And changed back to Asuma before walking out. The third sighed and said I'm getting too old for this shit. Asuma walked back in and said oh, before I forget. Do you know Kagabunshin? The third nodded and Naruto said enjoy the paperwork professor. And walked out. The third looked confused and asked why would he need to know if I knew Kagabunshin and told me. Damn it. And he hit his head on the table. He looked up and at the Hokage monument and said, you could have told me that's how you did it Arashi. Naruto chuckled as he left the tower and cut down an alleyway still disguised as Asuma and started to release the hinge, only to be pulled into a kiss from a very good looking Kurenai. Naruto making the most of the situation returned the kiss and took control of it before breaking the kiss and saying you know. For someone who is the Jinjutsu mistress of Konoha, you need to learn to detect a hinge. And he started to walk away only to be pushed against a wall with a kunya to his neck. Gurunai looked at him and said who are you two? Miles per hour. She was stopped by having the position switched and having her lips engulfed into another passionate kiss. At first she tried to struggle, but after a few moments she gave into the lust and dropped the kunya and closed her eyes enjoying the moment. Suddenly the presence left her lips, and when she opened her eyes all she saw was Asuma smiling, and he said age is not the only way to learn about love. Also, you don't have to always be afraid of being hurt. Enjoy your life since Heim. And was engulfed in a swirl of flames. Gurunai blinked and looked around trying to detect the person who was here a moment ago. Not detecting him anywhere she fixed herself and went to grab her kunya, but saw it was gone, so she left the alleyway thinking about who and what that was. Anko was sitting on the wall of the forest of death eating a dango and was making a design of a snake with the sticks when she jumped to avoid a kunya. Anko landed and looked around and said, who are you? The chuckle from the fen said a snake should always beware of a predator. Anko looked up and saw a man with blonde hair and about six foot tall standing on the fence. Anko said who are you? The man chuckled and said if you can catch me and make me submit I will tell you what you want. But I will also be hunting you. And he jumped into the forest. Anko looked around not sensing anyone else and jumped up and over the wall beginning to hunt. Naruto thought Caillou, you better start pumping your chakra into me. This is going to tack a lot out of me. QB said what do you think I have been doing since we got back Kit? Naruto thought how come your voice is not all heavy in the demonic anymore. QB said my hatred is gone and with it so is the malice in my voice. Naruto was about to think something but jumped away to avoid a snake jumping out of the ground. Naruto snickered and said you have to do better than that. Naruto felt a presence behind him and felt someone grab him and heard what was that. Naruto smiled and said boom. And exploded sending Anko into the air only for two more of the guys that attacked her to appear and kick her into each other like a pinball. Anko sent out a snake from her sleeve and destroyed one and turned to the other, only to see her summon go up in a puff of smoke. 
The guy in front of her said a snake should avoid a fox. Anko looked confused, but the guy in front of her eyes turned red, and then his nails drew longer, and suddenly he charged and took a slash at her which she ducked, but did not have time to react to miss the underswipe that cut the top of her shoulder and her coat and shirt. Anko looked at her wound and saw it was just a small cut and grabbed a little blood licking it to try and intimidate her opponent. The guy in front of her said gotcha. And went up in a puff of smoke. Anko looked around and started to move, but then she heard it. Doten. Yomi Numa, Earth Release. Underworld Swamp, and a swamp appeared under her, and she tried to get out, but was not able to because she saw the guy who attacked her was still channeling chakra into the attack, and she was being drained of all of her chakra. She said what do you want? Panting. Naruto said I want you to train me to kill Orochimaru. Anko blinked and said then why did you attack me? As she fell to her knees. Naruto still holding the jutsu said I knew you would say no. I needed to impress you enough to do it. Unfortunately I guess my body is not strong enough yet to do it. And he released the jutsu and collapsed on the ground dropping the henge and turning back into his five-year-old self. Anko blinked and said, you got to be shitting me. The groan made her look down and saw the little blonde hair boy. The boy looked up and said hello Anko. Anko looked at his face and saw the whiskers and said so what was that about? Burrito said like I said. I want to kill Orochimaru. To do that I need to know how he attacks. I know you were at one time his student so I figured with you hating him also I could get you to help train me. Anko looked at him and said how do you know that kid? Naruto said I am older than I look. I know a lot more than that. I also want you to know I can fix that. Pointing to the curse seal on her neck. Anko instinctively rubbed her neck and said how can a little kid do what no one else can't? Naruto said you know what I am. You also know what is inside me. I know how to use his chakra to heal my body, and I also know that I can destroy level 1 Curseseal, as long as the person does not fight it. Anko looked and thought, and Naruto said if you want we can go to the Hokage's office to do it if you don't trust me. Anko seemed to think it over and said what can you give me as proof? Naruto said my life. Anko blinked and Naruto said, you can summon snakes. The asp can kill me if you attack my heart. Anko blinked and said, why do you want to kill Orochimaru so much? Naruto said he plans to destroy the leaf. When he comes I plan to kill him. Anko seemed to think and said how do you know what he is planning to do? Naruto said I know a lot more than I should. My life made it where I had to. How old would you say I am? Anko said I know you're five years old. Naruto snickered and said it's good to be underestimated. Physically yes though Kurinai will probably kill me later for the kiss, but mentally is another story. Anko said that's a good story and all, but why should I believe you? Naruto smiled and said let's say I me and you were friends in a previous life. Close friends that tell each other secrets about certain tattoos. Anko paled for a moment and said that's a good one kid. Naruto said hey it's not my fault you wanted to impress the guy you were in love with and had a tattoo of a viper put there. Too bad Hesuke. It was really well done. Anko looked pissed and said give me one reason I should not kill you right now. I don't even know how you know about that. Naruto said like I said, I know more than I should. I got two reasons why you should not kill me though. One you're turned on right now and two, you're tired of being alone. Hiding behind that mask and never truly opening up around someone. Afraid to be hurt agent. Anko looked at Naruto and said what was that about Kurinai a moment ago. Naruto stood up and walked over to Anko and said oh nothing much. She thought I was someone else and kissed me and I did this. And grabbed her henging back into his tall blonde henge before engulfing her lips in a passionate kiss, pressing her agents the tree she was by, and holding her there as he broke the kiss and jumped back and said, see you at the Hokage office. Before disappearing in a swirl of flames. A third was reading his book while he had two Kaga Bunshins doing his paperwork when a swirl of flames appeared in his office. At first he thought he might be getting attacked until he saw Naruto. He blinked and Naruto held up his hand and started removing a finger starting with five. When he got to the last one a swirl of leaves appeared and Anko stood there looking like she was about to kill. The third said I take it you found Anko. Naruto said yeep and I gave her an offer to remove her curse seal. Walking over to the window only to duck under a kunya that was thrown at him. Naruto turned and said it was just one kiss. Anko said I am going to skin you alive. And charged him only for him to duck under her swipe and grab her from behind, bending her backwards so she was level with his true height and kiss her agent on the lips. She fought back for a moment before giving in and returning the kiss for a second, before she opened her eyes wide and breaking the kiss as he stood her up. The reason she opened her eyes wide was cuz he put his tongue in her mouth. A third sweat dropped and giggled at the same time. Naruto after standing her up walked over to a chair and said so, do you want that seal removed or not? Anko looked at him trying to decide to kill him or let him try and then kill him. Naruto said an impatient just show me the damn seal already. 
I have other things I got to do today besides convince you to teach me. I need to find Kakashi, steal his book to get him to teach me Miss Jutsu. Piss off the civilians, buy me some weapons. Everyone in the office looked at him sweat dropping. Anko blinked, the third blinked, the two clones blinked. Anko said exactly who is this little shit. The third Ingrid and said how are you planning on buying weapons when you should not have any money. Naruto snickered and said well I have three ways to do it. One I can go to my family estates and open the vaults. Second I could have you give me some money. Or three I could do this. Walking over to the picture of the Yandium bit his thumb before putting it on the picture. The picture started to morph and change and then suddenly a safe appeared and it opened. Naruto put his hand in and pulled out a few scrolls looking at them, tossing one to the third and said I got about a billion dollars here to play with. Anko looked at the third and said, did I wake up in another universe or something? I need a drink. Naruto said wait till I remove the seal and I will join you. The third sighed and said after you remove her seal will you leave me alone today? I feel like I need to retire or kill myself. Naruto said you still have other things to work on remember. The third sighed and said I think I liked you before. Naruto sighed and said I guess I am a little high strung. Who old when you best friend and teammate tries to kill you? A man you try to stop from killing his family kills you. A man you respected as a grandfather being held down while his replacement kills you, and then the man who first ruined your life, kills you for trying to save the friend that would later kill you. Im tired old man. As he walks over and sits on the window seal looking at the Hokage mansion. Enko looked over at the third and he mouthed later. He looks at Naruto and said try telling us about it and maybe we can help. Naruto sighs and said I already told you about the deal QP made with the Shinigami. When I came back the first time I tried to do it by myself. I thought if I could stop Itachi from killing the Ichiha clan his brother would not get fucked in the head and betray the village after Orochimaru offers him power. I learned then that I was not strong enough to stop him. The next time I came back I told you what happened and you tried to help me stop the Ichiha massacre. The council used it as leverage to have you removed and I tried to stop him saying it was not your fault. Danzo had his root members hold you down while he stabbed me through the heart. I came back agent and this time you had Jiraiya take me to train away from the village. We met soon a day, and she did a Blutist when I got hurt. It was that Blutist that showed we were related and how it came about. I returned for team placement and was placed on the same team again, so I could save Sasuke when the time came. I also befriended Anko and Kurenai when it was shown Kakashi was playing favorites. It was then Anko and I started to date. Anko talked Kurenai into having fun with us because her and Asuma were having trouble. Haha. <laughs> I have a habit of breaking the odds. I learned Rasengan in a month. I could turn the demon of the mists abusa into an ally. I can save a country. I could break the curse of QP spirit. I could be with two women at the same time and make both happy, but I could not defend myself against S-class criminals. Naruto had tears in his eyes. He was still looking at the monument and said I don't know how dad did it. To save a village by sacrificing his son. I guess that's the difference between us dad. You were willing to give everything to do it. Somehow I must do the same. I wish you were here to guide me dad. Starting over sucks but dying knowing you failed is even worse. The third said Naruto, what is it you hope to do? Naruto sighed and said my first life all I wanted was to be Hokage. To show the village I was not the demon they thought I was. For 12 years I did not know why they hated me. It took 12 years, but I finally started making friends, it was one of the first I thought of as a friend that was my downfall. I thought if I could save him then I would not have to lose my friend's agent and fail them. I then tried another way to save him by taking out the source of his betrayal Orochimaru. I don't know what to say or do anymore old man. I figured since I remember everything I learn I can get strong enough to stop him. Not to mention that damn group Itachi goes with. 9 seconds class criminals after me, so I need to be strong enough to stop them also. The third sat quiet for a moment and Anko said, why do you care for this friend of yours so much anyways? Naruto said even though he acted like he hated me and called me an idiot and made fun of me all the time had the attention of everyone, he was also the first beside the old man here who actually accepted me somewhat. Anko said so you want to save him for accepting you, but he treated you like shit. Perhaps you are an idiot. If I was able to do what you claim you could I would learn everything I could, and then I would start over and show all the idiots that you are actually better than them, but hey, that's just me. Naruto looked at her and said perhaps you're right. What do you think old man? The third thought for a moment and said, is there a limit to how many times you can come back? Naruto said as long as I save one life each time no, unless I give up this power. Why? The third was silent for a moment and said how strong would you need to be to take out Orochimaru and those S-class criminals. Naruto thought for a moment and said Orochimaru when he was with them was the weakest and he killed two Kages in less than a month. I would need to be stronger than a Kage. 
Anko said what about with your demon chakra you used when fighting me? Naruto said it's a double-edged sword. By the time I would have to fight Orochimaru, I would only be able to use at most three tails worth of power. If he uses that damn five-star seal on me that option is useless agent. The third said I have a plan that could work, but it would take a lot of time. Fortunately that is something you have a lot of Naruto. I agree. There are events that must happen. The Achiha clan is one of them so don't even worry about that. Also you must choose wisely who you tell. Instead of doing it like you did today when you come to me I want you to repeat this saying. Ready. Naruto nodded, and the third said, a monkey will climb higher to avoid a snake. Even with a frog and a snail's help he may not climb fast enough. A fox can kill the snake, but only with the strength of a snail, the agility of a frog and the wisdom of a monkey. Naruto thought for a moment and said I get that one. Using the summons as a reference. What is your plan old man? The third thought for a moment and said your plan for Suna is a good one, but that is a bonus. Getting stronger would be wise, and to be Kage level you would have to be trained in everything. It could take a long time to do this. Do you understand this Naruto? Naruto nodded and said so get stronger and strengthen the bonds between us and Suna. What else? The third thought for a moment and looked at Anko said well as luck would have it, you also will have the dream of every man. Anko narrowed her eyes and said what do you mean? The third chuckled and said, when you plan to make your move, you will need to work on restoring your clan Kazama. Anko blinked and said Kazama, as in. Naruto said yes, Arashi Kazama the Yandai Mei was my father. Anko said I thought you were losing your mind kid. Naruto sighed and said so get multiple wives. What else? The third thought for a moment and said, since you said the five star seal, you must have had some run in with it, so you need to learn sealing, kinjutsu, ninjutsu, taijutsu, jinjutsu, strategy, stealth, medical jutsu, as well as other aspects of your life. You must learn to be a ladies man. Learn about each of the women you want to marry. Also you will need to leave this village and go to others to learn fire village secrets. Find out who is Orochimaru's allies and also anything you can about them as well. Naruto said anywhere you think I should start first. The third thought and said what is your worst? Naruto snickered and said Jinjutsu. The third thought and said okay good place to start. Naruto said when do we begin? Anko said what have we done? Naruto woke up in his bed and looked at the roof and said I really hate those tiles. As he got ready for the day heading for the Hokage Tower. On his way he shoved a guy out of the way and quickly walked into the office not even hinging. A couple of gourds tried to stop him along with the secretary. Not a good idea. Naruto placed a Jinjutsu on all three making them think they were in one of Jiraiya fantasies. When Naruto walked in the third looked up and said Naruto, what can I do for you today? With a smile on his face. Naruto walked over and sat down putting his feet on the desk and said I have something to say, and then we can talk. A monkey will climb higher to avoid a snake. Even with a frog and a snail's help he may not climb fast enough. A fox can kill the snake, but only with the strength of a snail, the agility of a frog and the wisdom of a monkey. The third blinked and said who are you? Naruto looked at the ceiling and said Naruto Kazama. The third sat back in his seat and said so tell me Naruto, what's going on? Naruto said it's time to start action. I have lived more lifetimes than I care to count. If you added all my years together I would give the fox a good run for his money and age. I won't tell you why or how just know that you might want to let everyone know who I really am. QBS dead though, so don't feel bad about it. The third blinked and said can I see the seal? Naruto snickered and raised his shirt saying what seal? The third said how strong are you? Naruto thought for a moment and said more than enough for what I need to do. The third said so what do you plan to do? Naruto said how are things between Suna and Konoha? The third said strained why? Naruto said he has a daughter named Tamari. Arrange a marriage with her and the son of Akage. The third said why would I do that? Naruto said once the council finds out who I really am, and my bloodline added to the fact QPS dead, they will jump at the chance to initiate the clan resurrection laws. The third thought for a moment and said what bloodline? Naruto said give me a moment and I will activate it and show you. And closed his eyes, and the third felt Naruto's chakra go up, and after a moment died down. Naruto then started forming hand seals and walked to a plant on the side of the room, and said growth and a plant suddenly grew three feet tall. Naruto turned and said long story short dad is not the only Kage blood I have. The third blinked and said I think that this might be a good idea. But what do you plan to do? Naruto said I don't want you to make it public knowledge who I really am yet. The third blinked and said why? Naruto said I want to prove some stuff to people. I also need some others to underestimate me and those who think him QB to still hate me, so when the time comes I can stop them. Until then I want you to keep it a secret. The third said what exactly are you going to do? Naruto said train my body. The third said what exactly does Orochimaru have to do with this Naruto? 
Naruto said when the time gets closer my friend you will know. I can't tell you without screwing things up too much. Oh, keep everyone but Anko away from the forest of death. As he headed toward the door. A third said why Naruto. You got to give me something. Naruto said I'm going to live there. As for giving you something, how would you like to spend more time with your grandson? A third said I would love to but. Naruto looked at him and said enjoy your life my old friend. Use Kaga Bunshins to do paperwork and have a good life. I will try to stay out of your way and not cause trouble for you until it's time. The third said Naruto. What do you plan to do? Naruto said I will be training. The day my age group is supposed to take the finals for the genin test put me as a new student. I will be back then. It will look like I am gone until then. The third said Naruto wait. I'm sorry. Naruto smiled and said I promise you my friend. When the time comes the years you protected me will be restored and I will save everyone I can. Just get that marriage to Tamari set up and don't tell them anything about me, except I am the last of my clan with a bloodline. The third nodded and Naruto walked out. He quickly changed into Asuma and headed toward the ally, only to be grabbed by Kurunai Ajin. Ten minutes later he left the ally and said till we meet Ajin beautiful since I am. After that he was not to be seen by anyone for almost seven years. Time skip seven years. The Academy. Aruka sighed as he read the note the Hokage sent him this morning. Apparently a new student would be here for the finals today. He refused to tell the name, but said he would be unique. He looked at his class and someone knocked on the door. He went to the door and said can I help. He stopped when he saw the figure standing there. The figure was nearly 5'10 and 160 pounds. He had a pair of black pants on, a sword on his left side. A black vest unzipped except the very bottom with no shirt underneath. Blonde hair that was trimmed to where it was only about 2 inches. His eyes were blue, but had a small red ring and slitted pupils. He had scrolls all over his vest, as well as what looked like seals on his hands. He had a shuriken and two kunya holsters on. His legs. You could see his chest, and it was what could be described as one word. Ripped. The figure said yes. The Hokage said I was to take the test today. Aruka blinked and said yes, what is your name? The figure smiled and said Naruto. Aruka wrote that down and said Naruto. Naruto said Uzumaki. Aruka sweat dropped and then pale dropping his pen before he said right. Anyways find a seat. Naruto nodded and walked to the back of the class, ignoring the looks he was getting. He sat down and Naruka said okay class. To become ninja you must pass this test to show you are ready. When I call your name please come to the other room to test. And so they started to take the test, and then it finally came to Naruto's turn. Naruto walked into the room, and the Mizuki said don't I know you from somewhere kid. Naruto looked at Mizuki who was away from Aruka and channeled chakra into his eyes and changed color to red, and then disappear returning to normal, and said I've been around. With a smile. Mizuki pointed his finger, and Naruto said so what's the test. Aruka saw Mizuki pointing, but did not know why, and said do at least two bunshin. Naruto said can it be any kind. Aruka said sure. Naruto just nodded and five kaga bunshin and Aruka blinked and said you did not use hand seals. Naruto said nope and grabbed a headband before leaving to join the others. After he was gone Aruka said what's wrong with you Mizuki. Mizuki said it's the QP brat. Aruka said I know it's him, but why are you freaking out? Mizuki said I know what I saw. It's him. The QP. Aruka sighed and said I think you are crazy or something. I mean it's been 12 years and nobody has died and I am giving him the benefit of the doubt. Besides the Hokage knows Hesir. Why else would he tell us he was arriving? Mizuki said he was waiting to kill us. Now has back and I am sure he is ready to do it. Aruka sighed and said we can't do anything about it now. Let's go finish our job. Mizuki sighed and then followed Aruka to class. When they got there Aruka said well done. All of you who pass come tomorrow to be assigned your team. And started to leave. Naruto waited until everyone left, then he left as a swirl of flames. In the Hokage office the third was sitting looking at the people he chose to be senseis for this year's genin. Asuma, Kurunai, Kakashi. The third sighed and started to say something when a swirl of flames appeared in his office, and everyone jumped back never seeing someone arrive like that, and the figure standing there said thanks old man for keeping the place going. I am back. The third chuckled and said welcome back. It's been too long Naruto. Naruto looked at the ones there and said you ready for the real fun to begin old man. We have less than six months before the village will be attacked. Everyone in the room tensed and the third sighed and said so you ready to talk. Naruto sighed and said it's good to see you all Agent Kakashi, Asuma, Kurham. Everyone looked confused and Naruto went to the window and said can you get a Biki and Anko. When they get here I will tell everything. The third nodded and ordered the two to come. While they were waiting Kakashi said how do you know who we are. Naruto said Sharingan had a Kakashi, Jounin, student of Arashi Kazama. 
said to have copied over 1000 jutsu. Only original jutsu the Chidori, hurts like a bitch, summons dogs. Asuma Siratobi. Son of the third Hokage. Wind manipulator and one of the Fire Lord Temple Gourds. Specialty trench knives in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yuuhi Kurenai, Ice Queen of Kanaha and a great kisser Jinjutsu mistress. Favorite attack is the Treatment of Death. Age 20. Favorite color is blue, and favorite flowers are jasmines. Has a birthmark on her right butt cheek. Previous relationship are with Asuma and Anton. Both ended, but you still date Asuma every now and then when you get lonely but hate is smoking. Kurenai was bright red, and Kakashi and Asuma both were giggling. Just then both Ibiki and Anko arrived, and Naruto turned to them and said Ibiki, head of interrogation and torture division of Avenue, specialty, mental torture. Brother Idate who went missing when he was tricked into stealing the region by Aoi. Current location. T country. Anko, apprentice of Orochimaru, summoned snakes, has a cursed seal of earth on her neck. Makes everyone think she has a blood fetish, but it's a self-defense to intimidate people. Also a great kisser. Has a tattoo that no one besides her and the person who put it on has seen. It is actually a really well done one. And he dodges Acuna. The third chuckled and Anko said okay kid, I don't know who you are and how you know this stuff about us, but you are going to tell us now or I will kill you myself. Naruto chuckled and said I'm sure all of you have basically the same thought in your mind. Don't worry I will tell you now. Old man, this is for only those in this room, got it. The third nodded and said, as some of you might be able to guess by the marks on my face I am Naruto Uzumaki, but actually that's not right, is it old man? The third sighed and said no. Naruto said Kakashi, you more than anyone in this village should have been able to tell who I really was. Kakashi said why is that Naruto? Naruto said I'm hurt. You would think my own godfather would know me. Kakashi blinked and looked at Naruto for a moment and then his eye got as big as a silver dollar and he looked at the third and said, you told me he was dead. This got everyone's attention. Asuma said what are you talking about? Naruto said look at the picture behind you Asuma. Everyone turned and looked at the picture and then back at Naruto. Ibiki chuckled and then laughed hard and said are you saying that? Naruto said Kazama, Naruto Kazama. As everyone got it they gasped in disbelief. Naruto said okay, now that the minor stuff is out of the way we have a war to prepare for. Old man, did you get Suna like I asked? The third nodded and said yes. It costed us some, but I got it for you. I still don't know why though. Naruto said as you all know the Chunin exams will be held in Kanaha this year. During the exams as long as I have not changed things too much, but with not stopping the Achiha massacre and my disappearance seven years ago, everything is pretty much the same. During the exams Orochimaru himself will infiltrate the village and attack Team 7 under Kakashi and give Achiha Sasuke a Cursesial of Heaven. When the finals of the exam arrive the sound village which Orochimaru is the Atokage of will attack. Originally it was with the help of Suna. If I did not stop the Kazikage's Sungara, we would have lost that battle. Ibiki said how do you know all of this and how come you talk in the past tense? Naruto said originally at the end of the battle, the third was dead. Jiraiya who trained me after Kakashi abandoned me to a less than adequate teacher took me as his apprentice and we went and found my grandmother Tsunade to come back to be the Gondium Hokage. Everyone paled and Naruto walked to a plant and said I see you replaced the last one. And went through some seals and said growth. And the plant jumped three feet in height. Naruto turned around and said anyways. With Sasuke already being borderline insane because of his brother, compounded by the fact of the curse seal and Itachi coming to the village to kidnap me for the QB he betrayed the village and left with Orochimaru personal bodyguards. Kakash, I don't care if it kills me, and I have to start over agent. You teach that little asshole Chidori agent I will shove a Futon Rasashuriken up you ass. Asuma said what is that attack? Naruto said the final form of a Rasengan. Kakashi fell to the ground and said impossible. Naruto said not for me. It's a Rasengan with wind manipulation added to it. Anyways long story short Sasu killed me with Chidori. Shinigami came to take me, but because QB had not been in my body long enough he would have been back in 20 years. Bakashi said, but the seal. Naruto stopped him and said was designed to give me all of QB's power over my lifetime. If the villagers would have killed me the day of the sealing QB would have been back in less than a year. You're lucky the old man here was so adamant about keeping me alive. Anyways when the Shinigami came to take me QB made a deal. The side effect of the seal was he felt everything I felt so all the sadness and loneliness changed him. QB's deal was to give his powers to me and. Naruto stopped and hinged into a avenue and the doors to the Hokage office open and Mizuki came barging in. He said Hokage, what's the idea of having that demon come into the academy and graduating? I'm sure he is. He never got to finish as Kakashi hit him in the neck and Ibiki had him taken away. 
When the door closed and everyone settled down Naruto changed back and said sorry, could not let that traitor see me here right now. By the way Ibiki, you might have Avenue keep an eye on him. I know originally he had me do it, but since I passed he may use someone else but Hess after the Forbidden Scroll. Hirachimaru promised him power. You know when his teammate suddenly died under mysterious circumstances. He was trying to impress the Heba team at the time. Ow oh, well where was I? Now I remember, QB gave me his powers, and the Shinigami gave me the power of the Phoenix of Legends. Every time I die I am reborn to a day when I was 5 years old and remember everything that happens. I have had a lot of lives learning. Here in this village and others. A third said if what you said is true Naruto then we have to. Be stopped because of a massive amount of Kai. Naruto said that is why I did not tell you earlier old man. If we start preparing then Orochimaru spies will find out and tell him. He has several in this village. Even with all my lives I still have not gotten to know all of them. The only course of actions is to set up for certain aspects. He has spies on the council, hospital, this administrative building, the academy, avenue, hell I know Root has alliances with them, but it's next to impossible to prove. Danzo is someone I would love to kill. Anyways I am sure you all have questions so I will try to answer. Anko said how do you know so much personal stuff about me? Naruto said after the first few times of screwing up trying to stop the Ichiha massacre and Orochimaru without much skills, the third of a timeline asked me what I wanted to accomplish as a goal. I told my goal at the time and the you of the time because I wanted you to train me in the serpent style told me I should work toward a life that would make me happy. After I found out who my family is and was the third said after I stopped Orochimaru and some others that I would have to revive my clan with multiple wives. He said a side mission should be getting to know the real women who I might someday like to have in my life. One of my lives I helped you and Kurham emotionally and we dated some. Asuma said sound like more than dated. Naruto said relax. I may know details of both the lovely ladies here, but I have never been past kissing. I refuse to go past that point until I actually get married. The reason I know about those embering details is you should not drink with someone who can't get drunk. Kurin I said so you know about my birthmark because I got drunk and told you about it. Naruto said actually no. You got drunk after Asuma was killed and you went into labor and I had to deliver it. That's how I know about your birthmark. Enko said what about me? Naruto shivered and said I know things about you that would make Orochimaru blush if he could and was not gay. The answer to is you wanted to kill me for stealing your dango and I learned a new variation of the hidden snake dance. Enko said really. Naruto said all I will tell you is it it involved 10 snakes, a pair of white panties and dying with a smile on my face. Enko said I don't own white panties. Naruto said whoever said it was your panties. You tied me upside down with your snakes in the female avenue dressing room butt ass naked and made me watch you and another woman change for 9 hours. I had so many nosebleeds in that room that my regenerative abilities finally gave out and died from blood loss. Bakashi said amateur. Naruto did a sign and said harem jutsu. And 20 naked blonde women appeared sending Asuma, the third, Ibiki, and Kakashi flying backwards. Naruto then said at least I did it from a real woman. I also don't need my grandfather's books to dream about a woman either. Naruto looked at the two women and suddenly realized that was not the best move. The only thing keeping them from killing him was the other men. Enko smiled evilly and Kurinai said so. You think that you could make us some of your wives huh? Naruto changed into Asuma and said sure since I am. And changed back. Kurinai stopped in her tracks and stared blankly and said that was you. Naruto said you should check for a henge before grabbing guys in ally ways. Enko looked at the two and said what's he talking about Kurinai? Naruto flames shushing across the room. Enko blinked and said no. Fucking. Way. Kurinai blinked and said what? Enko said you remember me talking about the guy in the forest of death. Naruto said I wish they would change the name of that place. I have lived there for seven years and I am still alive. Kurinai blinked and said you meant to tell me the guy who tricked you into a game of cat and mouse and then had you at his mercy and only kissed you before leaving was him. Naruto smiled and said I learned to make the women I care and respect happy. The groan from Ibiki alerted them to all the guys waking up. After everyone was awake the third said Naruto, I am classifying that as an S-rank jutsu. Naruto said A-rank. Sexy jutsu is a B-rank. Harem jutsu is an A-rank. Orgy is an S-rank jutsu. Enko said what's the difference? Naruto said sexy jutsu is just myself changing. The funny thing about it is thanks to QB I really do become female. Oh well. Harem Jutsu is with clones. Orgy is a version where you have the females and also males going at it. The only people who I have ever encountered immune to it are Sasuke and Orochimaru, but since they are gay it does not matter. Kurinai said those Jutsu are degrading to women. Naruto said I have you know that they are no different from the advanced female ninja classes the unmarried older ninja have to take. 
As a matter of fact I had those classes and have broke up several prostitution rings with them thank you. Gurunai blinked and gaped trying to have a comeback. Ibiki said can you tell us anything we can prepare for. Naruto thought and said age and named Kaputo. He has failed the last six exams, but he actually stronger than Kakashi. He is a Rachimaru right hand man. Secretly track his movements without alerting him. His detection skills are better than mine and mine are better than an Inuzaka. He also has an advanced healing ability equal to my demon one. Speaking of demons, just so all of you know I do have his powers, and but he is gone along with the seal. The last time I checked old man I can hold up to four tails of demon chakra for 20 minutes before my body starts to destroy itself. Any longer and I suffer from chakra exhaustion and severe damage to my body. If I go any more tails worth then that I suffer the same fate and also I only have instincts then. I've sealed the rest away for now. It will probably take me 8 years to get to the last tail of chakra though. Bakashi said how strong are you Naruto? Naruto said with or without all the restriction I have on. Asuma said explain. Naruto said I have gravity seals, chakra seals, physical weights, chakra weights, the sword on my side has about one tail's worth of chakra sealed in it that I can draw in battle if I need to. Everyone paled and the third said how strong are you with the restriction. Naruto said I could take on Jiraiya and win. Everyone paled even more and Kakashi said without. Naruto said with a straight face and no emotions the entire leaf village and win without using Horatian no jutsu. The third finally regained his color after a few moments and said, how many jutsu do you know Naruto? Naruto closed his eyes and said 2000 katen, 1300 raten, 900 doten, 5000 suetan, 1200 futen, 600 medical and 400 kinjutsu. Not including the 40 styles of taijutsu and the 25 kinjutsu styles I know. I can open all 9 of the gates also. If this chance fails when I go on the mission to snow country I might go to the hidden village there and learn some snow and ice jutsu. I have mastered my wind affianity as well as my suetan and doten affinity. Until I had activated my bloodline I was limited to wind only. I know and can use katen and raten jutsu, but they eat my chakra bad. Bakashi said 9, but there are only 8 gates. Naruto said in normal people yes. I was once a demon vessel so all the demon chakra I have in my body comes through the 9th gate. If I use it I have unlimited chakra. However I would destroy my body in a few minutes as I can't shut it off fast enough to save my life. Gurunai said how's your jinjutsu skills? Naruto said I can use 10 jinjutsu. No matter how much I try that is my true weakness. I can detect them as long as they are not super weak ones. I can't cancel them by stopping my chakra. I can stop them with pain or using powering up chakra. Only problem is if I pulse my chakra I will cancel all jinjutsu in a one mile radius, both ally and enemy. At least I can fight Idacha Sharingan now. Bakashi said what do you mean? Naruto said you know how he has the last level and how you have to kill your best friend to get it, when QB was teaching me to use his chakra he taught me to manipulate my body with his chakra. Having been hit with that damn jinjutsu of the Sharingans enough times I can fight him in it, so instead of him controlling everything that happens in it, we fight for dominance. Sadly of the last 20 times we fought in it, I only beat him 5 times. Maybe this will be 6. The third was rubbing his temple and said okay, so what are you planning on doing? It obvious you are Sanin and probably Kage level. Naruto said what I am going to do is advance in the ranks normal. Get some friends. Try to save everyone I care about. Kill Orochimaru. Stop 9 seconds class criminals, save 5 countries and settle down and have a family. Everyone looked at him like he was crazy. Naruto said what? I will save wave country, snow country, tea country, rice field country, and waterfall. As for the 9 seconds class criminals. They will come after me just like they will come after Gara. They want to rule the world by using the tail demons. Fire plan has failed now since I don't have QB, but the can still cause a hell of a lot of damage with just 8 of them. If it was not for Orochimaru's immortality justu he would be a pussy. Ibiki said immortality justu. Naruto sighed and said that's why he is coming here besides destroying the leaf village and killing the third. He wants Asuk because he has created a bastardized version of the heavily power I was granted, except instead of going back in time he goes into another body that he controls. With the help of the curse seal and drugs he puts in the bodies, he could give me a run for the money for a while. If he gets Asuk before Sasuke gets strong enough to fight it, he will be near impossible to stop. Bakashi said then why don't we just train Sasuke to be stronger. Naruto said it's not physical energy I'm talking about. Sasuke with the help of the Sharingan and some of my lives, was able to take over Orochimaru's soul, but only when Orochimaru waited till Sasuke was over 16 years old. If he takes it over before then he succeeds. I don't know all the details, so I can't help you. The only options are a stop Orochimaru during the exams. B kill Sasuke. 
See kill Orochimaru before he changes and destroy his entire body, or some of his followers know how to implant his soul into fire bodies, even after he is dead. D kill them both. Fire is no middle ground. Sasuke will betray this village for power. He won't be happy with getting stronger either. He wants power handed to him on a silver platter and will go to anyone who offers it to him. He has betrayed us to Iwa, Cloud, Rain, Sound, Hell, he even betrayed us for the S-Class criminals his brother is a member of if they agreed to train him to kill Itachi. He will never stay in Konoha. He is treated as a god here and wants more. You know the old saying absolute power corrupts absolutely. They were talking about Sasuke. Naruto sighed and giggled after a moment. Kurenai said what so funny. Naruto said I just remembered. Danzo revolted in one of my lives and held Tsunade, who was the Kage as a prisoner, by holding her assistant Shizune hostage, he forced her to have me banished from Konoha for breaking Sasuke Pinky when we brought him back to Konoha once. Five of our ninja died, 27 wounded and because I broke his pinky when I threw him on the ground on the council chamber's floor, they had me banished. Ironic. I wonder how much those assholes are going to ruin this life. Banko said sounds like you've got everything planned out. Wats with the Suna thing. Naruto sighed and said like I told you originally Suna joined sound in attacking us. Suna did not know about me and Jerry Aya teaching me to summon Gambunta and the power of QB. If they had they would have had Gara kill me quickly. Ibiki said you mentioned him a lot. Exactly who is he? Naruto said a living weapon, or at least that's what his father wanted when he did it. The third said what are you talking about Nordo? Naruto said you all know how I was used for honorable reasons to save the village right. Gara was not as lucky. One of the council somehow got an urn that had to the soul of a crazy monk and the one-tailed sand demon Shukaku sealed in it. The Kazikage had the demon and monk sealed into Gara while he was still in his mother's womb. When she gave birth to Gara it killed her. Unlike me who was somewhat hidden from the kids here. The Kazikage had made it common knowledge what Gara was. The sand's personal weapon. Sadly living nearly 12 years with maybe a day of sleep in your life does not make you a good person. His mission was to kill Sasuke and then destroy the leaf when they attacked. Sasuke wounded him with a Chidori, but all it really did was piss him off. I was able to beat him outside of the village, but Sasuke was given credit. Who wants to see the plague of the village as a hero? The third thought for a moment and said then why did you want the arranged marriage to strengthen ties between us? Naruto said Orochimaru will kill the Kazikage. One way or another and impersonate him here during the finals. It's too much of a confidence to be by you during the attack. After everything calms down and Gara loosing to me he becomes the new Kazikage of the sand. I am one of the only people he would ever trust after that. The Mari is his older sister, and she is one of three people he cares truly about. Kenkuro his brother and me are the others. I plan to fix Gara's seal when I see him to get rid of Shukaku influence on him. That will make him more friendly with me, and with Tamari being engaged to me, he will respect the leaf since I am from the leaf. Tamari is also a nice woman, and the only people who would date her are either trying to suck up to Gara or just want to use her. I actually care for her and want to see her happy. The only other guy to ever be halfway decent to her in all of my lives was Shikamaru, but they have a love-hate relationship, and after she got pregnant he left her. I would not do that to her so that why I was willing to do this. I would have tried it even without the politics. Everyone seemed to accept his answer, and the third said so what do you want to do? Naruto said team placements are the same always as they would have been. Kakashi has Sasuke Sakura and me. Kurenai has Kiba, Shino, and Hinata. Oh and Kurham. Hinata is a fragile egg. You will try to baby her, but actually letting Anko train her a little will bring her out of her shell. Just a thought. The last team will be the next Inashikacho group under Asuma. If you can work with your teams on speed and endurance to prepare them for the war. That in chakra would be all the training I suggest to help them be stronger. The rest is up to you. As far a mission. I only really know about Team 7's mission under Kakashi. Give us whatever you feel like old man until a C rank mission to wave comes in. When it does I request that mission. I might be able to get us two strong ninja to help. A third said and who would these two be? Naruto smiled and said the demon of the mists Abusa and his assistant Haku who also has a bloodline. The third said I agree to the mission, but I won't agree to the missing nin until I speak to them. I will give them free leave though. Naruto said that's all I ask. Before I forget, don't call me Kazama in public. I don't want the wrong people to know until it's time. Right now word should be spreading around town the demon is back. It really won't affect me much. One of the Jinjutsu I know allows me to do my shopping and stuff. Also I will not show my true skills Kakashi. I will use simple henge, replacement, kaga bunshin since I can't do regular bunshins, tree climbing and water walking. Well it's getting late and I have a novel to finish reading, so I need to head home. Bakashi said Naruto wait. Where do you live? Naruto smiled and said oh, the forest of death. 
I built me a home there. The only ones who actually go there without being ordered are Anko and the old man. Saya. And disappeared in a swirl of flames. Bakashi said Hess joking right and what is with that shushin. The third said actually no. When he came to me at the age of five and told me about coming back he asked me to keep everyone but Anko out of there. He really does live there. As for the shushin. I don't know. Anko said I just got a new hobby. Gurin I said what's that? Anko said he has lived there for seven years and I only encountered him one time in all those years. I am going to find him and his home. The third said I can help a little. I know it's not in the south quadrant. I checked it myself looking for him after the Achiha massacre. Anko said I also know Hess not in the east quadrant also. That means I have 10 square miles to look for him in. Gurin I said when you find it let me know. I want to see it. With an evil look in her eye. The Suma leaned over and said I have not seen that look for seven years now since she came and asked me about calling her since I am. Ibiki said well I got some avenue to order around. I got the feeling I am going to have some people to have fun. I mean torture soon. As he left. Bikashi looked at the third and said, is he really related to the Sanans? The third said truthfully, I don't know, but with that bloodline I say it's a good chance Hess related to one of them. Bikashi nodded and said I am going to have fun with this team. Before leaving in a swirl of leaves. The Suma said you know when Tsuna Day finds out about him if she is related to her you're dead right. The third said at least thanks to Naruto the last seven years have been good. The Suma looked confused and said what do you mean? The third chuckled and said he told me how to do all my paperwork in a fraction of the time. The Suma said really, how? The third said Kagabunshin. The Suma fasifalted and after picking himself up said that so simple I wonder how you never thought of that before. The third said rub it and why don't you? The Suma laughed and left. The third sighed and said so what do you both want? Gurunai said answers. The third sighed and said I'm getting too old for this shit. Very well. I will answer what I can. Both women nodded and so into the night the interrogation went. In the forest of death assertion blonde sneezed every few moments. The next day at the academy everyone was sitting in class waiting on Aruka to come in. Each person was doing their own thing. Some were interested in others. Most of the fangirls in class were busy looking at two people. Sasuke and Naruto. Sasuke because he is the last Ichiha and Naruto because he is a mystery and had the whole baddest swordsman look about himself. It helped the fact that he was a baddest swordsman, but no one actually knew that. Today his look is different than before. Today he had a black pants and his sword and a black vest unbuttoned with and no shirt underneath, but a blue sash around his waist to cover where the seal was supposed to be. He had a black wrist gourd on each hand, and the seals were still on each hand. Think Vaughn from Final Fantasy She. Sasuke was looking at Naruto from the corner of his eye every time his fangirls looked away for a second. I would go into his thoughts, but since they are a broken record I will only play them once. I must get stronger to kill him, I am an Avenger, no one is better than an Achiha, I bet he is weak, cute ass. Okay I need to stop there. Sasuke mental thoughts on Naruto are disturbing after that. Naruto was sitting in the back of the class and was aiming each of the rookie nine. They did not know it though. Why you ask? He had on a pair of black pilot style sunglasses. If you looked at his eyes all you could see was your reflection which made his new fan club think he was looking at him. Naruto was mentally evaluating each of his friend. Shikamaru genius, lazy, family style jutsu, weak tie jutsu. Joji powerhouse, food expert, family jutsu, weak jin jutsu. Mino fangirl, family jutsu, weak nin and jutsu. Nice body, lousy kisser. Bisexual. Shino genius, family jutsu, weak tie jutsu. Anata bloodline, low self-esteem, family jutsu, weak ninjutsu. Controlative possessive disorder. Want to control all life. Kinky. The Baha'i Ten Cents, Family Jutsu, Weak Jinjutsu. Sakura Fangirl Weak Nin and Taya Jutsu, Multiple Personality, Great Medical If Trained, Sucks in Relationship. Killed myself after I kissed her and saw her naked. Could not even touch her. What the hell did I ever see in her anyways? Sasuke Trader Must Die. Psycho, Weak and Sealess Jutsu and Other Bloodlines. Weak Jinjutsu Sharingan cancels them so if he has them on useless. Naruto sighed and thought may have dated those three, but never slept with them, thank god. Ino wants a guy who is also bisexual and is willing to show whole body to get a guy. Hinata wants to chain you up and control everything. She actually tried to tell me when to go to the bathroom. Sakura, it is actually a good thing she has a big forehead. If anyone would have thought to look they would have seen the jinjutsu on her body. Her breast never developed and puberty hit her heart elsewhere. To have a monthly twice a month. No wonder she is always in a bad mood. Mentally if I dated any of the mage and I would kill myself. Anko was right about me getting to know the women I would like to maybe spend my life with. Naruto was brought out of his thoughts by Ino who had walked over and said hi Amino. 
Naruto thought of something and said Ino, even though I just met you I bet you I can tell you almost everything about you. If I can would you do me one request. Ino was blushing and said anything. Naruto said, you work in a flower shop love lilacs, like Sasuke, but you also like girls, want to find a guy who would also like girls and guys, and hopes to embarrass your parents by changing your family business into a itcha itcha store, and has the entire collection in your closet under the floorboards. Am I right on most of it? Everyone in the class was looking at them, and Ino was red with embarrassment. Naruto decided to cut her some slack and said if I am right on at least one thing, then I also know things about others like that. If so I have a list for you that you should use to find a true soulmate. My request is that you go down this list and date all five names at least once and make it a real date, you can't say no to dating them based on age, weight, or looks, and you cannot say the name Sasuke once on them or compare the date to Sasuke. Deal. I promise you that one of these is your soulmate holding out a list folded over. Ino looked at it and then at Naruto and then the list and then at Sasuke and said deal. Grabbing the list. Naruto grabbed her arm and said remember you have to give each person a real chance. I will know if you don't and since I can guarantee I will be on a team with Sasuke I will tell him on you if you break your word. If you really like him then you don't want him thinking you're a liar. And released her making her walk over and sit down. Shikamaru said that was troublesome. You set her in a perfect trap and never met her before. I bet you even set her up with the biggest losers there are. It's so troublesome. Ino walked over and said in a stuttering voice Shikamaru, I was wondering, would you go with me tonight on a date? Shikamaru's eyes got as big as a silver dollar and then returned to being lazy and he looked at Naruto and said I would hate you, but it is too troublesome to actually think of getting revenge. Yes Ino I will, pick you up at 6. Sakura had her mouth hanging open and said take that in a pig, love concurs all. The vein appeared on Naruto's head and said quit trying to make yourself look good Sakura. Inner Sakura will hound you if you about not having a date later. Ino looked at Naruto wondering what he meant. Sakura was pale and sat down leaving everyone to wonder what he was talking about. Naruto sighed and said hey Kiba, do me a favor. Kiba looked at him and said why should I do you a favor and how do you know our names and so much about Ino. Naruto said simple actually, I heard all of your names yesterday during the testing, I know so much about Ino because I heard her family business in town, as for anything else I know about her that may or may not be true is I can read people like a book. As for why you should do me a favor, I will owe you one later. After all, only thing I was going to ask you to do was deliver a scroll to your team sensei. I was told to give it to her on my way here, but I was too busy. Shikamaru said how do you know what teams we are going to be on and who our senseis are. Naruto said information gathering is important for a ninja, but truthfully, I saw the list earlier when I was at the Hokage's office, finalizing my ninja status and getting my picture taken for the records. Shikamaru said troublesome. I thought I was the only one who saw that list. Giba said fine, I will deliver this scroll for you. Who was it from anyways? Naruto said all I remember about the guy was his last name started with a K. He said it was an apology for something, and he did not know if he would get a chance to tell her face to face, and did not want to have hard feelings if he did not see her agent. Diba said alright. I want to call in that favor now anyways. Naruto said alright. Diba said since we know nothing about you tell us about yourself. Naruto said fair enough. My name is Naruto, I am the same age as all of you, I am a seal master and have lived and trained on the outside of Konoha since I was 5 years old. I am engaged to one woman though I have not met her yet and I am one of the last of my clan. Shikamaru said I never heard of a clan called Yuzumaki before. Naruto said that is not my real name. It was changed to protect me until I was strong enough to claim my real name. I will not tell you what it is no, but I will tell you it is one of the founding clans of Konoha. Well Aruka's is here so let's meet our teams. Favors filled Kiba, thanks. And leaned back propping his feet up on the desk and waited. Aruka walked in and said okay, I want to congratulate all of you. Naruto raised his hand and Aruka said yes, what is it Naruto? Naruto said where is Mizuki Sensei, I was sure he would be here today. Aruka said Mizuki is no longer with us. He was caught breaking into the Hokage's office last night. Apparently he was going to defect from the village. Naruto smirked to himself at that. Aruka sighed and said as I was saying, the life of a ninja is not an easy one. You will face many trials and some of you may not be ready for what is to come. Anyways good luck the teams are as follow. Team 7 Sasuke, Sakura, and. Sakura jumped up to say something but was stopped. Naruto said Sakura stop insulting others. We need to work on our teamwork. Sakura shot him a glare and said I bet we are not even on the same team. Naruto said Team 7 Sasuke, Sakura and me under Sharingan Kakashi, Team 8 is Kiba, Shino and Hinata under Jinjutsu Mistress Kurenai, Team 10 is Ino, Shikamaru, and Choji under Knight of the Fire Lord Asuma. Am I right Aruka Sensei? 
Iruka looked at the list and said yes, but how? Naruto said like I told everyone earlier, I saw the list when I was getting my ninja status finalized and had my picture taken. Naruka said yes well I may not like the fact that Naruto and Sakura interrupted me, but Naruto did finish my duties for me, and also Sakura, I would have to say he also had a good point. You do need teamwork, so don't insult others who might be on your team. Well one last time I would like to say good luck. Your senses will be here shortly. Iruka turned to leave, but Naruto yelled Iruka. I have something for you. And tossed a scroll which Iruka caught and he said what is it? Naruto said I noticed when I was walking through the village last night that you had a bunch of paperwork needing to be filled out. That's a jutsu that helps with paperwork. It has other things it can do but read the whole description and you will understand. Iruka nodded and opened it and read it with a big smile on his face and said that will save me a lot of time on paperwork. Thanks Naruto. Where did you learn it? Naruto said I got it from one of my father's scrolls he left me, and though it takes a lot of chakra, it will at least cut your paperwork time in half. Leaf ninja have to look out for one another. Right. If we did not then we would be no better than monsters and demons. After all, being kind is part of being human. Naruka paled for a second, then smiled and said I was right Naruto, you are a good person. Thanks. And walked out the room. Sasuke said what was that jutsu you gave him? Dope. Naruto said I am not a dope, I am equal in status as you and anyone else in this room. We are all leaf ninja now. All equal in ranks as genin. It does not matter what clan we are or who we are related to or what our last name is. In both battle and everyday life we need to look out for each other. We are family in that sense. As for what jutsu that is it's Kagabunshin. Shikamaru said you do know that's a jounin technique right? Naruto said yes I know but it's only that because of the chakra you need to use it. If you used it unwisely it could kill you. However just making one or two and not using it in battle should be safe for a chunin, and each time he uses it will make it easier the next time. Sasuke said I don't need help. I am stronger than all of you anyways. Naruto said then if me and anyone in this room got together you could defeat us. Sasuke said easily. Naruto said who do you think is the weakest person here Sasuke? Sasuke said probably you. Naruto said pick someone to team up with me and I bet we could be you in less than a minute. Sasuke smirked and said Choji. Naruto smirked and said who has a watch? Tiba said I do. Naruto said you time us and tell us to begin. Choji come here. Toji got up and came to Naruto, and Naruto said relax, we can beat him easily with teamwork. I want you to take Akunya and charge him. Don't worry about hitting him or anything. I will do the rest. Teamwork is the key to victory. Toji just nodded and looked at Kiba and said ready. Naruto also just shook his head, and Sasuke got into a fighting stance and said bring it. Tiba said begin. And Choji pulled out Akunya and charged Sasuke. Sasuke smirked and started to form hand seals only for something to grab his leg. He tried to move but could not and had to pull out Akunya to block Choji's strike. He was still not able to move his legs or see what was holding him while defending himself. Suddenly he felt Akunya on his neck. Naruto said time. Tiba looked at the watch and said 29 seconds. Naruto said good job Choji. Teamwork can almost always stop a single enemy. And started to walk toward his seat. Sasuke looked down and did not see anything holding him and said, how did you hold me in place? Naruto said I had a Kagabunshin hold you, and since you could not stop defending against Choji to look and destroy the Kagabunshin, I simply walked around you and applied the finish to end the match. Sakura said you use ninjutsu to beat him. That's cheating. Naruto said we are ninja Sakura, we use everything we can to win. As for using ninjutsu what do you think the hand seals he was doing would have been? An enemy will not always allow you to form hand seals, so you have to know other things to win. If you notice I never used a hand sign. It's not because it's a sealess jutsu. It's because I have mastered it to a point where I don't need the seals. Look underneath the underneath Sakura. If that would have been an actual battle Sasuke would be dead and we would have cut his eyes out and sold them to another village. Everyone was stunned and Sakura said, you would do that. Naruto said if I was an enemy then yes. You can ask Kanata up there about it. The Cloud Village already tried to do that when she was 4 years old. An enemy does not care who you are or where you were in the class whether you are the rookie of the year or the dead last. All they care about is killing you and completing fire mission to get paid. All any of our lives is worth is how much someone is willing to pay to kill us. Remember that. And he sat down. Clapping could be heard and everyone turned and saw a woman with red eyes and a man smoking a cigarette and the man said Hess right about everything he said. My name is Asuma and this is Kurunai. Teammate in 10 come on. And he started to leave. Both teams got up to leave and Naruto said Kiba, don't forget the favor. Tiba said I won't, but we are going to have to spar sometime. Naruto said sure. Good luck. As they walked out. Finally it was only team 7. 
Naruto's side and created 10 Kagabunshin and had them start running up and down the walls. Sakura and Sasuke saw this and were in awe. Sakura said why and how are you doing that Naruto? Naruto said anything a Kagabunshin learns so does the original when dispelled. Kakashi is always late, so I decided to do some chakra control exorcists. This one is based on tree climbing. Sasuke said everyone knows how to climb trees dope. Sakura said I already have perfect chakra control. Naruto threw two kunyas into the wall and walked up the wall and walked around the two kunyas and started standing on them with his index finger while he was doing push-ups with his legs in an Indian style upside down. The two sweat dropped as he did this with his eyes closed. Sasuke began brooding and Sakura tried to get him to give her a date. He ignored her and she would shoot glances at Naruto who was still doing his exorcist. Meanwhile Kiba was following his team and Team 10 out of the building when he said Kurenai Sensei. I was asked to give this to you. Holding up a scroll. Everyone stopped and Kurenai got it and said what is this Kiba? Kiba said I really don't know myself. Naruto said he was asked to give that to you from someone who had the last name starting with K and it was an apology or something. He said he saw where our teams were divided up and asked me to deliver it since he did not think he would be able to. Kurenai shot a look at Asuma who just shrugged his shoulders. Kurenai sighed and opened the scroll and when she did a box of chocolates and two dozen jasmines with a blue fox holding a card. Kurenai blushed and opened the card and read it. Since I am. I wish to apologize for embarrassing you in the Hokage's office last night. Even though I may have had a life with you before it is not always the same. Each event in life depicts who and what we are. I may only know you a day of one hundreds of lifetimes, but I will never know everything about you. I am sorry if I overstepped my bounds and I hope we can still have a relationship. Whether it is as co-workers, friends or whatever I will respect you wishes. Sincerely yours Kazama. Kurenai blushed as she read it and smelled the flowers and said Kiba, thank you for delivering this for me and I will also thank Naruto when I get a chance. We have other things to worry about now. Asuma said from your friend from last night. Kurenai nodded and said yes, I must thank him personally. Asuma nodded and said Anko figure out where he lives yet. Kurenai said you heard any explosions yet. Asuma said I take that as a no. Maybe I should talk to him. Gurunai said you will do no such thing. Asuma said but, what about us? Gurunai said right now there is no us. And there is no me in him either. I am not saying there won't be, but I want to know him some first. Jealousy does not suit you Asuma. Asuma said he is what 8 years younger than him. Gurunai said I am 4 years younger than you and I am old enough to make a decision about this myself. Besides, age does not really count in his case. Besides, his eyes are my favorite color. Asuma sighed and said I guess you're right. Just promise me to take it slowly. Gurunai said Asuma, I did not know you cared. Asuma said women. Can't live with them and can't take a kunya away from them. Biba said who are you both talking about? Asuma said probably the strongest ninja in the village. Ino said the Hokage. Gurunai said no, not him. Anyways let's get our team meetings out of the way and get the testing done also. Everyone looked confused as they broke into individual teams. Back with team 7 Naruto sneezes. Sakura looks at the clock on the wall and said how late is this Kakashi going to be? Naruto said how long has it been so far? Still with his eyes closed doing his exorcist. Sakura said two hours why? Naruto said about another hour. Sasuke said how do you know this Kakashi? Naruto said when I found out who were on which teams I learned everything I could about them. Kakashi is quite famous. Sasuke said we did you call him Sharingan Kakashi. Naruto said he has a Sharingan in one of his eyes and no he is not in a chair. It was implemented after he lost his eye. I don't know how or from who but he has one. He is said to have copied over 1000 jutsu. We could only hope he teaches us some of them. However Naruto was thinking I will actually be surprised if he knows one that I don't besides Shidori. Sasuke, just HMPD. Naruto sighed and said Sakura, why did you become a ninja? Sakura said for someone who seems to know everything you don't know that. Naruto said I'm sorry, I was trying to be friendly and a teammate. You became a ninja to impress Sasuke and defeat your rival Ino, who was going to be a ninja. You are the first female in your family to ever be a ninja, and you believe that Sasuke will save you from any enemies that attack us. Answer me the Sakura. We get attacked by 20 enemies. I am fighting 5 ninja, Kakashi is fighting 5 ninja, Sasuke is fighting 5 ninja who are at least chunin or higher in rank. Who is going to fight the last 5 enemies? Sakura said that won't happen until we get stronger so I don't have to worry about that. Naruto said in the past 10 years over 60 genin have died thinking the same thing Sakura. Are you sure you want to bet your life on that belief or would you rather take the time to actually try and improve your skills? You might even be able to show Sasuke you are stronger than he thinks you are and then he might date you. 
Not showing any emotions though he hated using a girl's lust for the traitor. Sakura sat quietly thinking what Naruto had just said. Naruto was quiet for a moment and said what the hell. And jumped off the wall landing on his feet and looking at the door. Both Sasuke and Sakura looked at him, and Sakura said what? Naruto said hess early. And just then the door opened and Kakashi walked in. Naruto said you're not late. Kakashi smiled and Sakura said yes he is. Hess two hours late. Naruto looked at her and said never mind. So what are your first impressions of us? Walking to the wall taking out the two kunyas. Kakashi smiled and said my first impression is. I hate you. Smiling behind his mask. Kakashi said meet on the roof. And disappeared in a swirl of leaves. Naruto disappeared in a swirl of flames leaving Sasuke and Sakura confused. When Naruto got up there he said what's the deal Kakashi. You're never early unless someone threatens you. Kakashi said leave Akaga bunch and go see the Hokage. Naruto nodded and created one and left to the Hokage office. Thanks for watching it guys, hope you enjoyed this video if you do please leave a like share and subscribe, also don't forget to check it out author of this fanfic. We'll see you in next video.